Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to connect different applications and how to automate your task, particularly related to stock market related applications. And uh, we're going to use Microsoft Power Automate. So Microsoft Power Automate is a service that helps you automate workflows between your favorite apps and uh, service to synchronize files, get notifications, collect data and more automated tasks that you can do with Microsoft Power Automate. Now I'm going to show you a simple example how you can automate your very first flow using AlgoMojo. AlgoMojo is more of a uh, kind of a cloud based uh, trading application. So let me go and log into one of the uh, broker platform here. So I'll go to Angel Brookings in.algomojo.com. I log in with Angel. So it redirects to the Angel Broking website. So from here, I'll go and enter the login credentials of the, I mean, I'm gonna enter the trading login. Once I logged in, I get access to the AlgoMojo. Now I'll be able to access various data applications. Uh, I can transmit orders automatically. So now what I'm gonna go and do here is, I'm gonna to go to the API documentation. This API documentation is highly helpful when it comes to automate anything and everything related to your trades. So I'm going to go to the feed section. So this feed section, right? So this is the one which is responsible for collecting the stock market data. So where you'll be able to collect the, uh, if you send the, the trading symbol and also the symbol token. So automatically it responds with the various uh, data sets. Like you will be getting the open, high, low, close, last traded price of that particular data. Now I'm going to collect that data using the Microsoft Power Automation. So I'll go to, uh, first of all, I'll go to india.flow.microsoft.com so i'll go to india.flow.microsoft.com from here i'll go and uh, uh, this is a place where i'm going to create my flow to automate my process so i'll go and click on create it, it uh, asks me for various types of applications so here i'm going to say like i'm going to create a uh, scheduled workflow where I'm going to schedule my task. I'm going to frequently collect the data uh, from a particular stock from via AlgoMojo using the angel broking uh, application. So I'll click on scheduled cloud flow. I'll give a name to that. I'll say like uh, angel broking uh, account to Twitter message. So I'm going to collect the data i'm going to send the data to the twitter so that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to send it probably every let's say every every five minute once every five minute once i'm going to start and uh, let's say i'm going to schedule this so it's going to run in the microsoft cloud itself and uh, it's going to keep collect the data and it's going to push the data to the twitter that is what the automation that we are going to do in this specific example so uh, let's say i'll set the time as like right from 11 uh, 45 onwards I'm gonna kick start so they have multiples of only in 15 minutes interval uh, and uh, this task I'm gonna automate it every five minute once so I'm, I'm gonna create a flow uh, up with absolutely no coding right so I'm gonna create the flow here now first thing in creating the flow is right I want to collect the data so I'll go to new step so since the, it is all about data collection I have to type HTTP over here, so it points out to HTTP Premium. That means you need to have a you need to be a paid user of Microsoft. Maybe if you are a first time user, you might be having a trial. So let me go and click on HTTP over here. And uh, here, uh, what I'm what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna collect the data from uh, AlgoMojo first of all. So I done with the AlgoMojo login. Uh, here is the API details, and uh, this is the feed link. I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. Right? This is the endpoint URL. Oops, this is the endpoint URL, which is more of a post request. So I'll post the endpoint URL over here. And followed by that, the body. So this is a message, what message I have to transmit. So the message I have to transmit here is like, this is a message I have to transmit. I have to transmit the uh, which exchange, what is the trading symbol, what is the symbol token. So let's say I want to transmit for a stock like Reliance. So here is a sample code. So first of all, I set my, I have to set my API key and API secret key. The API key and API secret key, I can get it from the my API section. So here I'll go and get the API key. And let's say I'll go and get the API key over here. 
and then I'm gonna go and get the API secret key over here. So, followed by that, I'm gonna set the exchange as NSE, and trading symbol is something like Reliance hyphen EQ, Reliance hyphen EQ, and the simple token. Simple token is kind of necessary when it comes to angel broking application, so it's pretty easy to get it. You go to the dashboard. From the dashboard, I can go and get the uh, Reliance symbol over here. So I think I already added Reliance. So I'll go to the symbol security info. And then I'll go and get the security token 2885. So I'll go here and then I'll go and get the 2885. And then um, this HTTP part is done. This will fetch the data. And now what I have to do is that I have to parse the data. What I, the data what I'll be getting here is the JSON data. So this is a JSON response. I'll be getting it over here. And uh, probably we can also try this out using a thing called RegBin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check. So RegBin is a simple tool to test whether this flow, flow is working or not. What kind of output I will be getting. So let's say I'm just going and pasting over here. And then I'll go and get the content. Uh, the content what I'm going to transmit here, this is the content I'm going to transmit just for checking whether it is working or not. Right? So I'll send it so automatically it fetches the data and then it shows me the results. Now this is the sample data. I have to keep it aside because it will be very helpful when it comes to parsing the data. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the new step here and I'm going to add, I'm going to type JSON. So JSON is to parse the data. So you can see a parse JSON application over here add to that action now from here uh, the content when it comes to the content i'm going to add the body of the content so from the http i'll be receiving the sample data that data is nothing but the body that body is what i'm going to process it so now i have to explain a power automate like what is the sample format i have to generate some sample format so i'll click on sample i'll go and get the sample code Right, so how the data format will look like this data format I'll go and paste it over here now I'll say done automatically now Microsoft Power Automate understands the uh, data format so from that it will be able to collect the data now once I collected the data now next step is to I want to transmit to Twitter right so what I'll do here is I'll go to the new step and from here I'm gonna say like uh, Let's say I'll say Twitter. Yeah, so here is a Twitter application. So I'll go to Twitter. I'll say I want to post a tweet. So you can do a lot of things. I want to post a tweet from here. And what is the tweet uh, text to be posted? I, I said like I want to uh, say like uh, the last traded price of the symbol. So you, you know that the symbol is we are able to fetch these. These are list of uh, past JSON data. So here is the trading symbol, the last traded price of uh, trading symbol, which is nothing but the reliance in our case is, and uh, we're going to get the last traded price, right? So here is the last traded price, last traded price. And then I also say like uh, day high. So day high is, so I want to get the uh, high of the day. So here is the high of the day and then day low, day low, which is nothing but uh, here is a day low, right? So once I done with that, obviously if you are a first time user, you have to connect with your Twitter account. In my case, it's already connected. Uh, you have to sign in and then you have to accept your uh, uh, login ID and password of uh, tw Twitter. So it gets connected. And then now next it will be, uh, once it is connected, you'll be able to transmit message to your Twitter. Now the, the workflow is done here. Now I'm gonna show you how the output will look like. So. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it with a, a name angel broking account to Twitter message, right? So I'm going to test the flow. So how the flow is going to work. So this is a flow which I designed over here. Absolutely no coding at all. And uh, I'll go to the test. So the test is you can test out manually or you can test automatically. So I'm going to test this flow manually here and then I'll say test. Now I have to run the flow. Now, once I run the flow, right, I'll run the flow here. You can see that the flow runs successfully. That means if I go to my Twitter account, let's say I'll go to that my Twitter account, you will be finding that data will be automatically tweeted. You can see the last traded price of Reliance 
high for equity is 2370.4 uh, day high is 2393 day low is 2367 so now if you schedule it let's say if it's, it's already in a scheduler right so once it is run the scheduler so let's say i'll go to the flow here my flows so under my flows uh, angel booking account to twitter message so if i open this flow you could see that it's got scheduled the flow is ready to go it, it gets scheduled every 15 minute once right so uh, we are transmitting this message to the twitter account so here is a twitter account got connected in my case it's a market calls hq so you can do a very simple automation you can you can transmit an email even you can send automated orders at a, at a specific time so maybe in the next example we learn how to send uh, how to place orders using microsoft power automate now when it comes to the pricing right so pricing is something uh, for a indian user the pricing comes around roughly around 1080 per user per month approximately right so whereas for uh, in dollar terms it approximately comes to 15 dollars uh, per month so that works out to 15 dollars per month approximately yeah all right so i guess now you understand the power of uh, microsoft automate with absolutely no coding one can totally uh, you you can you can build your own uh, uh, entire uh, automation perfectly in the cloud itself and uh, what you can do is you can automatically uh, you can you, you can you can simply uh, create with a absolutely zero coding effort right yeah so i guess you learned something new in this video i'll try to come up with more videos like this so if you like this video please comment and subscribe thank you